In today's video, I'll be cleaning my sink with ketchup, showing you how to trick people into thinking you just got a haircut, trying to figure out why the internet keeps telling me to shave in the shower, making and testing a fog-proof mirror, discovering how to clip my fingernails without them shooting across the room, unsuccessfully trying to unclog my drain, and more of the most popular men's grooming and bathroom life hacks the internet has to offer, plus more things you guys dare me to do in the comment section. Now in the last video I asked you guys to tell me something that makes you happy, and your comments were hilarious, and also very sweet. And I think after reading these comments that they are probably my favorite comments of all time. It's just a lot of very uplifting stuff. But since you guys came up with so many comments, I thought I'd ask another question. What is your favorite smell? It could be the smell of coffee or the smell of success after you beat a video game. Be as creative as you'd like and put whatever you can come up with in the comment section. I'll be featuring 10 of my favorite in the next video. That and keep leaving your dares. I swear we'll get to those. Now let's get this thing going. But before we get started, I wanted to give a big shout out to today's sponsor, which is Dollar Shave Club. Now we all have everyday grooming routines, and as you can tell, I've missed quite a few of my daily grooming routines. I've really let it go, but as you guys know, we've done lots of different grooming things in the past, including cutting my own hair and using magnetic facial stuff. Well, I bet you didn't know that Dollar Shave Club, yes, Dollar Shave Club, has all of your grooming products, not just razors. Toothpaste, body wash, hair styling products, everything you need to look, feel, and smell your best, not just razors. Check it out. Their products are actually amazing. They're best in class for less than best in class prices. I think my favorite product is the One Wipe Charlies. Yes, they're butt wipes, and yes, you definitely need them. Because after all, just because you don't need to go doesn't mean you probably shouldn't go in there and wipe anyways. Listen, there's no excuses for racing stripes these days. And Dollar Shave Club is basically giving away their daily essential starter set to new members for only five bucks. The starter set features three trial size versions of their most popular products that help you stay fresh and clean along with their executive razor. In your first box you'll receive shave butter, body wash, and one wipe Charlie's butt wipes. You'll also receive an executive razor which includes a premium weighty handle and full cassette of cartridges. After the first box, replacement cartridges are sent for only a few bucks a month. This $5 offer is available at dollarshaveclub.com slash funny me now. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash funny me now. But before I get into using any of those products, I need to really cut this mop on my head. Now one of the most popular men's grooming hacks that I've seen online is them telling you to cut your hair between cuts. That way you can look like you just got a haircut when if you're like me, it's probably been quite a long time. Now I have cut my hair before, so if you'd like a full tutorial, I definitely have that available on my channel. But this is just gonna be a quick tutorial on how to make it look like you just got a haircut. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get the hair off of your ears. Now you can use whatever razor you got, just be careful and only get a little bit around the ears. Otherwise, it's gonna look pretty weird, like a mohawk or a mullet or something. But they do sell guards that are specifically for going around each ear. I have a right ear guard and a left ear guard, but it's not necessary but it will come in handy. That part was super easy and it already looks a lot better. Now the next area you probably wanna check out is the back around the neck. You definitely wanna make sure that that is trimmed up because otherwise your back hair could start to creep up and become part of your haircut. That is if you're a hairy person like myself. So you gotta make sure you keep that trim. And look, I have my ears again. I haven't seen these things in a long time. But our work is not done yet, and we got a lot more life hacks to go through. But if you got five minutes and a razor, you can definitely make your haircut look a lot better without even needing to go to a barber or have any barber skills whatsoever. Pretty easy. A lot of it is just overcoming the fear of cutting your own hair if you've never done that before. All right, on to the next life hack. The next bathroom life hack that we're gonna be doing is shaving in the shower. The reason to shave in the shower is because not only does it save you a ton of time, but it's actually the best time to cut the hair on your face. The warm water makes the hair a lot softer Softer and therefore a lot easier to cut. Not only that, but it's probably the cleanest place to do a shave because you can wash your face right off immediately afterwards. Not only that, but it prevents your bathroom from getting hair all over it, which is a problem that I'm very familiar with. So for me, this works out a lot better. Hair stays in the shower, goes down the drain. I'd much rather the hair just stay in the shower rather than follow me throughout the rest of the house. But if you are gonna shave in the shower, you're gonna need a mirror. And the easiest way I found to hook one of those up is by using a coat hanger, a chip clip, and a small personal mirror that you can just attach to it like that. And then I just whoop, hang it up here and I'm ready to go. Except that the mirror will probably steam up. But it's a good thing that I have some generic shaving cream here because it does a good job at defogging mirrors. You just apply a bunch of it to the mirror, wipe it off, and it's good to go. But I've got the Dollar Shave Club shave butter that I'm gonna be using to cut this nasty beard off of my face. So other than for defogging this mirror, I'll probably never need this stuff again. It didn't break! And if and when your chip clip breaks, just use binder clips, because these are better anyways. Of course, you can buy a shower mirror if you want, but 
I'm more about that DIY stuff. And that should actually work pretty good for me for shaving. Wow. Looks like there's six blades on this thing. Oh my God. <laughs> Easy as that. And not only are we gonna be finding out if this works on mirrors, but we'll find out if it works on camera lenses as well. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of shaving cream right there. Just rub it all in and hope it doesn't destroy my camera. Okay, now let's test out that life hack while I do my first shave in the shower at the same time. So far, so good. Okay, so a few things. I'm done showering. Not only did this work, but it also worked on my camera. So I need to remember that if I ever bring my camera back in here to do something weird in the shower, which I probably will. Also, I am genuinely shocked that that razor performed so well. I mean, you saw the massive beard I had on my face and it was cut with just a simple razor. Everybody else was telling me I was gonna need to cut it with scissors or something first. But those hairs were pretty long and that razor did an amazing job. And obviously taking a shower while I was doing that at the same time only made it that much easier. So the shaving cream defogger worked well, shaving in the shower worked well, and the shaving products worked well too. On to the next life hack. Now after you're done shaving, there's a lot of different solutions for where to put the razor. Obviously you'll wanna put it somewhere clean and dry. Now for me, it matters less because I'm gonna be getting these sent to me all the time, probably more often than I shave anyways. But if you wanna stretch out a little bit more longevity out of your razors, which a lot of you probably do, all you do is get a small container, fill it up with rice, and stick the razor in it like so. It's basically the same way you'd save a cell phone if you dropped it in the pool, but it will make your razors last a lot longer. And that being said, we'll be on to the next life hack. Now, like I said, one of the main reasons for shaving in the shower is because it won't clog up your sink drain. Unfortunately, I just found out that life hack, so my sink drain is pretty clogged, as I will demonstrate now by just simply running the water with the drain open. And as you can see, after only a few seconds, we've got several inches of standing water, which is a problem because it's really not easy to get a plunger in here. Using one might actually mean removing this part right here, and that is way too much work for me. So instead, I'm gonna be doing a life hack that involves pouring baking soda down the drain and then following it up with white vinegar, or probably any vinegar, but this is what I'm gonna be using because that's what I have. And not to mention, but Drano and other products like that are a lot more expensive than baking soda and vinegar, especially because these products are almost free, seeing as how they're probably already in your house anyways. Now I genuinely really hope that this works, so let's see. I'm gonna add a whole bunch of baking soda and vinegar, and it should make somewhat of an eruption when I add all the vinegar to this. Now I've never done this before, and this is a very clogged drain, so I might be adding too much, but the way I see it, it's either go big or go home. And I'm already at home, so we're gonna go big. Now I can already tell that that helped out a lot because it kicked up a bunch of hair, but as we've learned in the past, life hacks are not always what they've been cracked up to be. But I do think it's working, so I'm gonna keep trying this just a little bit longer. I can hear it hissing in there. Must mean it's doing something. Well, there's not much left, so I'm just gonna finish this up and hopefully we can get some good results by the time we're done. Okay, I've let this settle down for quite a while now, and now is the big moment when I get to find out if this thing actually worked. So now I'm supposed to pour hot water for a few minutes, and hopefully my drain is unclogged. If not, I might have to resort to something else. And if I can give a prediction, I'm gonna guess that I'm gonna have to give this life hack a failing grade because I, I don't think this is gonna work. Maybe it could work under ordinary conditions, but this sink is especially clogged, so I guess we'll have to wait and see. So unfortunately, as you can tell, it did not completely work. I definitely think that it helped some, so I don't I don't wanna say that it would never work, but under these particular real world circumstances, it did not quite do the job. So it's a good thing that they have products like this out there, which is just some nasty chemicals I can pour down my drain, and that will probably do the job, or at least let's hope so. And that being said, we'll be on to the next life hack. Oh, and also this life hack fails. This doesn't work. For this next life hack, the internet keeps on telling me that I need to use ketchup to clean off my faucet. And as you can tell, my faucet definitely does need to be cleaned off, but I'm not so sure ketchup is the way to go. As we've come to find out many, many times, life hacks can be lies. Now, before we get started, I really just wanted to show you how nasty this thing is. It's kind of embarrassing, but it's necessary that you guys know where we're starting from so you can see 
if the ketchup actually does a good job of cleaning this off. Keep in mind, just wiping it off with a wet paper towel would clean it some. So it's gonna have to do a really amazing job for it to be worth putting ketchup all over the place. But let's find out. It looks like a really low budget horror movie in here. Now, according to what the internet has said, there's a lot of acids in ketchup and that is what makes it a powerful cleaning tool. It's gonna have to be because right now I'm just making a huge mess out of everything. I may have used way too much ketchup. I'm really just trying to take it all off now. So other than how it would be really difficult to explain to somebody why they found a dab of ketchup behind my faucet, this life hack actually worked. A lot better than the baking soda and vinegar that did not unclog my drain. But as it turns out, ketchup is a pretty useful cleaning tool, especially on faucets. That being said, I have to give this life hack a passing grade as it did work. And that being said, we'll be on to the next life hack. The next most popular life hack the internet keeps telling me to try is putting tape on the side of nail clippers to have a perfect nail clipper catcher or whatever. I think this will probably work. I'm actually optimistic about this, but there's only one way to find out. And seeing as how my nails are pretty long and nasty, I really hope this life hack works. So it is trapping all the nails, but I don't know if it's actually working how it's supposed to. They're all kind of getting stuck at the end here, which is gross to look at. Well, there's one it did not catch. I think it's full. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to do this without eventually needing to redo this part. That was one hand and I'm already through the tape. But that being said, it is working pretty well. Now, although this life hack might not quite be as good as they said it was, it did still do the job of preventing any of these nails from going flying over to the other side of the house, which is usually what happens when I clip my nails. I mean, it's just like an explosion of nail clippings everywhere. So I guess it worked well enough. And that being said, we'll be on to the next life hack. So if this video is helpful or if you just enjoyed it, make sure to leave it a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And if you'd actually like to see the videos, also bell me for notifications. And of course, I'll be seeing you guys in just a few days with a new video. All right, thanks guys. Bye.